Hey, welcome to Duke's RV. It's a little loud out here on the freeway, so we're gonna go on inside. This is the Montana 3763 BP, and we're going inside where it's a little quieter. You see, it's got the full body paint. This is a beautiful RV. We'll take a look at the outside after we take a look at the quieter inside area. All right, so when you walk in, walk into this kitchen right here, facing this uh, in-command console right here where you can turn on and off all the components right there. The lights, you operate everything. Hook that up to your phone. So you see it's got a little alcove here, a slide out with windows with the panoramic view. These nice balances provide uh, privacy when you black it out. So it's a nice place to hang out right there. Enjoy the RV lifestyle. So here in the kitchen we have, it's called a butler's pantry, the 3763BP. See the uh, uh, full residential refrigerator and fixtures, residential size microwave. Here's my contact information right there. I'm Duke, your video host here on the channel. See that accent lighting? Let's take a look at this kitchen from this angle over here. Look how nice that looks. See it's got an AC here in the middle. And then this is the BP, the butler's pantry. So you've got a lot of storage here. See how deep that is. You could put uh, tall items in there. Get a couple more cabinets up here. You see those hidden residential hinges, a place to hang up a coat. So uh, this one is uh, rated for full-time use. Sorry, let me see. I think somebody's trying to open this door. There's the stairwell up to the bedroom right there. See more storage there. So a ton of storage with the butler pantry. And then there's additional storage right here. If you'd rather have a half bath in this closet area, uh, we do have the Montana 3761 FL, which is uh, identical to this one, except for the, uh, it has a bathroom right there. So you see that curtain up there. This front living area is, uh, dual use really uh, it's got a couple of sofas that are good sized sofas going up these stairs right here walking right over those vacuum cleaner hookups there you just, it's a built-in vacuum cleaner um, but those both fold out into a bed and then you have this curtain right here that slides out so if you need to use this as a guest room it'll work otherwise it is let me get into the uh, commands position here in the captain's chairs theater seats recliners so it's a panoramic view that tv will lower down it is a televator tv you see the big fireplace and the uh, jbl sound system it's actually got a subwoofer if you want to crank it up there it is right there and then i took this cover off right here so you can see the residential style air filter it has in there these uh, this AC system is very quiet and very efficient and it filters out the particulates a little different from most RVs so there are your theater seats right there see that accent lighting up top that's nice just giving you a view of this front living section see the cars going by on the freeway so it's kind of nice just sitting right here you don't feel claustrophobic, but you do have sort of uh, a little space here that's, that's a different level from that space right there in the kitchen. So if there's somebody there cooking over there, you can still, hey, chit chat away. And, but also you feel like you got a little separate space too. A little room here on the floor, which is nice. Okay, so I guess I have uh, shown this area. So when you're walking out, there's a, uh, a wall right here at the back of these uh, theater seats, and it's storage right there. You've got the screen defender here on the door. If you have a little dog that wants to paw at the screen, that is a metal piece there. The screen defender. All right, so we're going to walk through this uh, kitchen area. Go up these steps. you got a window here in the hallway into this uh, 
Bedroom here, it's got a king size bed right here, windows all the way around the headboard. Over here, you've got a uh, place for a washer dryer. Let me see this light. Get it to turn on. There we go. Got the light on in there. So plenty of room to hang stuff up. You could put a combo unit or stackable uh, washer dryer, no problem. And you do have a nice chest of drawers here framed in TV and then there is some more storage space over there and they do have these trays up here where you can put a CPAP machine it's got a USB and 110 and this one it has the solar flex 400 that's 400 watts of solar that uh, it's got an inverter and a solar charge controller so you can run there's at least seven outlets in this rig where you can uh, plug in something even when you're not plugged into shore power run off of your batteries and solar and these plugs right here work like that that's the ones in case you need a CPAP machine place to hook it up and you got plenty of room around the toilet here Got some winterizing fluid there in the shower and uh, you got two basins right here they are the ergonomic type they're a little higher so if you're washing your face you don't splash water all over the RV bathroom but this one is rated for full-time use you can see those residential hinges some additional storage here in the bathroom just like at home you got plenty of storage place to hang up your towel there's a speaker right there you can rock out while you're taking a shower getting ready enjoy life a little bit enjoy every day all right so this is the interior section I'm Duke, your video host, and if you notice on these slide outs, this uh, material down here is a synthetic material. It is not a uh, carpet. And you've got the same thing over here, so you don't have to worry about your young poodle or old dog being attracted to the carpet. And there's no lip right there. You're not going to stub your toe in this section, so that's very functional. And uh, they've got some information about the Keystone Montana here talks about the uh, you could freeze this screen if you want to read any of this stuff zoom in whatever you want to see it's good information talks about the suspension the air conditioning all different types of things in here but uh, I'm just gonna show it to you person so we're gonna go on outside it's gonna be a little bit louder but I wanted to show you the quiet part first this beautiful RV this is the front living section right here You've got the uh, kitchen and dinette area here. The butler pantry over here with plenty of space here to store stuff, hang up coats, and residential fridge, microwave, stainless steel sinks. And we just looked at the bedroom and bathroom back there with the room for a washer and a dryer. There's where you can... Uh, sweep stuff into that lower spot right there when you're vacuuming up above that you just open up and then put the hose in there So we're going outside everybody it could be a little louder So I'll just holler at you I'll yell at you So this is the, uh, the legacy so it's got the side camera uh, And it also has this one has the optional full body paint which is optional on a legacy And it's got disc brakes that's standard on the legacy so there's some things that come with this one. It's got the rear camera. I'm going to take a look at the storage back here. I have a compartment here we could look at. If I can get this open with one hand. Here we go. So, uh, got some storage space back here. You could access, access, access it from, access it from the side over there. See all this double welded aluminum construction? When I say double welded aluminum, I'm talking about on these studs. Wherever they join together, they're welded on both sides. Uh, so that's what's supporting your subfloor. But underneath the subfloor, you have that black vapor barrier. You got PEX plumbing, color coded wiring, residential style stuff. And there is a receiver where you could put a uh, tray or a bike rack. So here's you access that storage from the side it does have a electric cord reel which is standard on the legacy also there's the outdoor shower right there 
indoor out well it's outdoor shower it's not indoor indoor is indoors i'm gonna work that out but right now we're gonna look inside here you get that dedicated wet bay there on the right so all your connections plumbing type connections are in here that's just winterizing fluid that pink stuff it's your hot and cold shower so if anything leaks there it won't go into your uh storage it just goes down through that drain area there there's your 30 amp mppt solar charge controller there is a pure sine wave inverter so this one is state of the art let's check the specs usually check that first but we're not we're doing it last close to last 14,720 pounds dry gross vehicle weight 16,900 pounds so uh, that's going to carry a good ton of cargo there's your electronic leveling with a clear view of the kingpin if you're raising and lowering your rig you match it up with your truck no problem hey thank you for viewing my video my contact information I gave it to you earlier it's in the description below but I'm Duke and if you're shopping for an RV I'll be delighted to help you you have questions about this one it's got the solar flex 400i the 3763 bp with four season living so it's set up for residential use pretty much or full-time use if you're extended stay camper there's my contact information hey if you watched all the way to the end please click the thumbs up button thank you so much